in plates uh, about the same price. Um, yeah. So that's the kind of support we got. But I think we're past it. I think we've got a drive train back together, and uh, we'll put it in the car and uh, uh, show you the uh, running test. Show the next, run test. I hope. Yep. Yep. All righty. Imagine a future with clean and silent cars. Imagine electric cars with the power to keep us moving, giving us freedom. Imagine cars that run on renewable energy, assuring sustainability. Building a more sustainable future is not child's play. The electric car, part of a sustainable future. It's closer than you think. Well, Brain, it's been a long road. I think we're, uh, we're winning. Well, we got to put back together. It looks pretty good. You've got the engine in. Uh, the controller is back wired up. We haven't hooked up the air conditioner. That's fine. Not yet, yeah. It's uh, 50 today. <laughs> we won't be needing it yet. We'll, we'll worry with that after we get this going. And um, it looks to me like we're ready to spin it up. All right. Is it going to spin up? Well, only one way to tell, huh? We've had a <laughs> long road with uh, Victor and MESDEA. And uh, we've got our new end plate. Of course, we... Showed you putting that together. Brian and Trace have got it back in the car in uh, less than a half a day. Um, so it looks like we're ready to spin some wheels. All right. I'm in. Trace, why don't you put on a little ignition and let us let me hear the contactor click a little. Sounds like a contactor. Sounds like a DC contactor. DC converter. Got a new noise, kind of a high-pitched squeal from that controller. That's going to annoy me to death, but I think it goes with it. Some of these just, frequencies that they run nothing on. nothing we can do. It's under 15K. You can kind of hear them, and that's pretty common in these AC three-phase controllers. Trace, put her in uh, about third gear. Put the clutch all the way to the floor and then let it out. And give me a little throttle. Let's see if these wheels will turn. Well, we got some throttle. Well, look at that. Well, brain, that looks like spinning wheels. Like I say, I'm hearing a high pitched squeal. I'm hearing a little frequency. A little vibration here, but I think uh, it's more a matter of wheel balance at this point. Yeah, we've got the else. and we got the transmission. We got it all unloaded. Our tires might not be in balance. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's running pretty smooth to me. It's it's holding nice nice RPM. It's smooth. This isn't flopping around. Take your uh, foot off the throttle, Trace. All right, now run it up just slightly and then take your foot off the throttle suddenly. Let me see how this, uh, um, that's good. Yeah. Oh. We have a little bit we of got regen some, We got some regen, yeah. On the throttle. I still don't have the software entirely set up. It's set up to run. Right. But, uh, sounds like we're spinning <laughs> wheels. Good deal. All right, Jack. If we had a <laughs> couple of seats in here and... Maybe coiled up some of my wires. We're, that's why we're not putting the seats in. <laughs> we can dig her for a It spin. is the Friday show. I'm not leaving them alone with seats in it this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we're getting pretty close to our first roll, and it's looking pretty good. I've got some interesting uh, things we've received. I'm starting to get a lot of stuff from our uh, 
viewers. Other than uh, death threats? Yeah, the death threats are <laughs> pretty much fading Only off. from the industry. <laughs> some, of these, uh, some of these aren't too bad. Let me see what I've got here. The first thing is, uh, let me show you, Jim Tenier. He's uh, looking at doing a Honda Insight oh, uh, conversion. All right. And Jim, we wish you all the luck in the world with yeah, that. Absolutely, Jim. He was uh, kind of the smart ass that wanted to know if we knew what a speed handle was. Oh, okay. This so. is what he was talking about. <laughs> and in fact, he sent us one. Thank you, Jim. Thanks. It's actually a very quality, this is Sears Craftsman speed handle and a gorgeous piece of work. Uh, why don't we use speed handles a whole lot? It's... Uh, Pretty rare in an electric car that we have 18 inches of room <laughs> yeah, right. to do anything with. Here's what I like to use. It's a little ratchet with a little stubby handle. And what that does is prevent me from breaking things. We let Brian use the longer leverage tools. When oh, yeah. I'm cross-threading a bolt, this is the ideal tool. I, I get and, the six-foot uh, gas pipe for yeah, torque. Right. You can use a six-foot <laughs> gas pipe. Uh, and speaking of which, we've got a a friend out in Chandler, Arizona. I've kind of been talking to this guy since last summer sometime. He uh, went out and spent $7,600 on a uh, BMW Z3. Now, this is kind of the same theme I've been talking about. He drove an EV1. His name is uh, Tim Cattalier, by the way. He's out in Chandler, Arizona. He drove an EV1. They wouldn't sell him one. No. I uh, went and checked out the RAV4s. They wouldn't sell him one of those. <laughs> and uh, so this year, finally, he decided to do his own electric car. All right, good. And he's a little bemused that, you know, now they're they're introducing lots of they're, electric they're cars. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. <laughs> they're not anywhere, That's right. Tim. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Volkswagen's going to now do electric for their whole line. Really? Yeah, this guy was talking two months ago that it would never happen. Now they're going to, their entire line, Golf, Jetta, everything's going to be all electric. Electric <laughs> is the thing of the day. And they're trying to do this with economy cars and uh, then yeah. sell them for $50,000. So, yeah. The IMEF, 50000 bucks is where it priced. In that's it. what we're talking about. That's crazy. And uh, so the, uh, the, we're, we're, what we're going to have is a bloodbath. This is actually going to set back the EV community, but it will recover. In the meantime, keep reading those press releases, Tim. You're driving an electric car, and I must say, a very nice one. Oh, um, Tim, great. Um, I talked him off the ledge of uh, lead-acid batteries. Uh, oh, okay. He was going to jump, gonna go, but huh? I, I, I it took a lot of <laughs> negotiation. We got him back inside the skyscraper. Okay, He, he didn't jump into the lead-acid pool. <laughs> And today, Tim le leads a life that's BMS free. One day at a time, of One course. One day at a time, yeah. As we all do. But he's doing just fine with some sky energies. About a 60 mile range, does 70 okay. miles an hour. Um, i uh, been corresponding with him today. I think he needs to do a couple of things with his tranny fluids. Uh, oh. Maybe take out some of that toe in. He's up over 300 watt hours per mile. I think yeah. uh, I think that can be trimmed up. Gorgeous car and a beautiful conversion. Nice. He's used all the the best components: Manzanita, uh, Charger, uh, Zilla controller. A net gain 11 in a uh, BMW Z3. That should smoke the tires. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so I think he's going to do do pretty well. Spent twenty one thousand five hundred dollars on it, so he's got what twenty eight twenty nine thousand dollars, and he's driving. That's pretty good. That's respectable. That's not too bad. Yeah. Well, take a look. He's kind of working my side of the street. Sent us a little <laughs> video. We're going to share it with you. Let's hear from Tim Cadillac and his BMW Z three. Hi everybody, my name is Tim Cadillac and I'm the owner of this uh, rather handsome BMW Z3. Uh, I bought this car about uh, two years ago with the express intent of converting it to an electric car. And though it seemed uh, strange to a number of people at the time, it seemed uh, a great idea to me, I had had the opportunity to, uh, to drive uh, an EV1 back in 1997 and I was uh, 
uh, very impressed and just taken with how great a car it was and, and more specifically the uh, how economical it was to drive. It was uh, far cheaper than, a, than an internal combustion engine driven car and uh, uh, I, sadly I couldn't afford to lease one at the time and uh, shortly after that Toyota came out with the EV RAV4 and I thought that might be a good solution as well so I went to the dealer but found out you, you couldn't buy one unless you were willing to buy ten. You had to buy a fleet and well that wasn't going to happen so um, I eventually got tired of waiting for uh, Detroit and Japan to come out with the uh, EV that uh, you could buy so I just I decided to build my own. Um, I chose a, a, the Z3 for a number of reasons but uh, uh, primarily because